Okay, so myself, Momita Ghosh Chattopadhyay. Again, we are back on the Satlas Live. And as Sat exam is very round the corner, it is just knocking at the door. So we are just here for the last preparation. Okay, we are prepping for the gig. As uh, because, uh, I mean, it is just knocking at the door. Yes. So the thing is that uh, today we will have a total at tight situation and we will just discuss each and everything. Whatever uh, doubts will be there and we will, uh, I will try to share some of the strategies of the SAT examination as well as some tricks and tips to you all guys. So hello, good afternoon to each and every family and folks of our channel. So uh, every friends and every relatives. Who are watching this live now I hope you are uh, watching this because I am live now because with the new with one of the new passage of the SAT examination it is very round the corner it is knocking the door almost you have to just open the door uh, so we are just here for the last minute tips or the last minute preparation okay so uh, before starting our my session, please do like, share and subscribe our channel and please try to share our channel links and videos with your family friends as far as possible. Thank you each and everyone. So let's straight get into Virginia Woolf's three guineas. Okay, so today my passage is there will be a discussion of Virginia Woolf. I hope everyone is aware of this famous name virginia wolf she has been the mascot the epitome of english literature she has so and so knowledge about and the and using each and every figure of speech in each and every of his essays just gives a decorum decorum to the english literature uh, so today our excerpt that means the extract will be from virginia wolf's three guineas so it is just an extract Okay, not the entire novel. So before starting that, I would like to give you some of the, I mean, the summary or the brevity of the actual story. So actually, it is uh, of three guineas framed as it is, uh, it is uh, depending on a letter. So the here the main protagonist or the main actress center of attraction is the letter of an unnamed name, unnamed man who haven't disclosed his name as well as his address. Okay, so there is a type of mysterious situation and mysterious circumstances arises regarding that letter. Okay, so Wolf here responds after three years. Can you just imagine that everyone, that everyone have a... Uh, been very much anxious. We all, whenever someone writes a letter, writes a message to us, we feel very much anxious. Very much uh, anxious that what is in the letter or how will we will reply. Okay. But what happens in case of Virginia Woolf? She responds it after three years. Can you just imagine what's the weird circumstances is there? What a sort of, <laughs> I mean, a weird nature of Virginia Woolf. So that's why she was very famous of such a, a tantrum. Okay, tantalizing tantrums of her. Okay, can you just think of her attitude? <laughs> yeah. So the unnamed man has asked her to prevent future wars in his letter without disclosing his name. Okay, and just written that uh, your well wisher at last. Uh, closing the letter, sure, he has just written his uh, your well wisher. Wolf responds. So just saying, responds it after three years. And when global politics suggests that another large war may be imminent. So can you think she, the person or the man was writing about the current scenario of a war, a particular war? And after three words, again, another word also came. Approach, uh, approach of another word was there. So can you think, and that reply was after three years. So it's 
so weird that she has replied to that you know, very unknown person after three years. <coughs> Excuse me. Wolf famed pacifism here. Compels her to think about the subject, but she takes issue with the man's framing. So she had a, a strike, uh, an idea has uh, striked. Okay. An idea has uh, already striked that what is actually happening. Okay, just a second. Let us see in the inbox what is uh, going on now. Okay, no one have, no comments are there. No comments are there. <coughs> oh, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Tarun. Yeah, Tripti, I have already opened the, um, uh, I mean, the doc. Okay, so I have uh, shared, uh, shared this one. Okay, okay, just a second. Uh, so let me just um, increase the uh, size of the font. Okay, okay, uh, no worries, no worries. Just a second. Yeah, I would like to, uh, I mean, uh, increase the font. Increase the size of the font to just. <clears throat> okay, okay. Just a second, just a second. I have to just increase the size of the font because many of the, I mean, uh, my viewers can say, uh, are saying that the font is very small. It is not uh, visible. Okay, just a second, just a second. Don't worry. I'm there. Just a second, sorry for the interruption. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, should I um, should I open this font then? Okay, so let us see. Okay, just a second. Okay, I, I am stopping sharing. Okay, I will. Uh, Okay, so in the meantime, I just uh, prepared the, this one. So can any? Uh, so I would like to share some of the strategies regarding the exam. Okay, so you all know that uh, you will be given an OMR answer sheet, and you have to just circle with, especially with black paint. And first of all, you all have to be very much self confident. Okay, so don't get puzzled during the examination. The confidence is a must. Is a must out there. Okay. So don't get, I mean, uh, don't get puzzled or don't get. Uh,
ओके जस्ट अ सेकेंड and the and other strategies are that you have you should not be puzzled or whatever nearest option out there okay there will be much nearer there will be 50% near there will be 70% near okay you have to think which is the 99% nearest to the passage the answer so you just have to look into it hello tarun okay okay and uh, another thing that is scribbling scribbling in the uh, paper is not allowed so you have to be very much careful that whatever you exam you have been given you have to be very much focused okay you have to be very much focused on whatever you are doing so before uh, starting the virginia wolf i want to just uh, share you the main story so it is just an extract it will be uh, visible there so first uh, starting it so the wolf responds as i told you that after 3 years uh, she has responded and other thing is that she argues that to stop war society must erase must uh, must erase inequality okay there should be uh, that war should be totally first of all he was in a uh, support of that there should be no war he was she was completely against the war and so was that unnamed person okay so after that a uh, uh, wolf explains that there is a huge difference in the funds available for main and women's discussion in her letter in her letter to that to virginia wolf and in which the reply 
the reply of uh, reply was given by virginia wolf after 3 years that is quite weird and regarding war as during that times war was very much eminent at that time so both of the both that unnamed person as well as virginia wolf was against war they doesn't want inequality inequality amongst people so uh, it was the main issue so let us straight get into the main part i mean the extract of that novel so let us go so i hope everyone knows what the, what do you mean by guinea so guinea is a type of a coin okay a type of currency and also it is also uh, what i say a women education centric uh, extract so there were uh, a difference between i mean the uh, education the fund for the education for men and the education for women are totally concentrated and focused and being very much clearly distinguished in this extract so you would let uh, you would know okay anyway sorry for the interruption for the um, time because there was some issue net issue so let us uh, just start close at hand is a bridge over the river thames is an admirable vantage ground for us uh, okay anyone in the comment box please let me know that uh, you are uh, i mean clearly visible or not can please let uh, anyone know me that uh, the, that my screen is clearly visible or not can you read the fonts can you read the read the dictions and the words clearly anyone okay yeah tarun has confirmed it so let us get going because uh time is going time is decreasing okay as it is knocking round the door as uh, it will now after that sometime it will be in your room only yes that is round the corner okay close at hand is a bridge over the river thames an admirable vantage ground for us to make a survey so anyone uh, in my comment box can please tell me what do you mean by vantage can anyone please tell me what is the meaning of vantage here they have say that river thames comma an admirable vantage okay yeah yeah thanks rupti yeah so it's a superiority in all aspects so it is a vantage okay it is a superior so you all are accustomed and you all are aware of the term river thames okay it's a very it's a historical place it's a historical river residing at london you might be knowing it's a very uh, i mean very famous place so it's uh, i mean superior in all aspects so that's an admirable vantage admirable va vantage ground for us to make a survey the river flows beneath barges pass laden with timber bursting with corn there on other side are the domes and spires of the city uh, okay domes you might be knowing a type of a half circular or um half circular structure which is a, it is actually very similar to our taj mahal so upper part of the taj mahal so it is a dome dome means half circle okay river flows beneath barges pass barges pass means uh, it's a poetic word barges you all know that if someone uh, gets into your house forcefully it means barge okay so barge means uh, pass means it's uh, you have heard of uh, a place through which two rivers meet so it barges pass that means uh, meets with other river or maybe with other stream okay laden with timber i hope everyone knows what a timber is laden with timber means there are um, uh, we get timber from trees from woods so there is always a poetic word as i have told you that the figures of speech are the most attraction are the main attraction here okay 
bursting with corn. There on one side are the domes and spires of the city. On the other, Westminster. Westminster means Westminster Abbey. Okay, it's a very famous place. And the Houses of Parliament. It is a place to stand on by the hour dreaming. So in the beginning part of the extract, we could see that the poet or the author Virginia Woolf is giving a beautification, beautification of the city or the beautification of London. Okay, that it is being surrounded with so many famous things and with so many decorum. So much decorum is there. The beautification is the utmost here. It is a place to stand on by the hour. Stand on by the hour means it's a, a place where we could uh, spend our leisure time. It's a type of refreshment, recreational place. Okay, and that's true. Because uh, you, we can see that the it is true. a whole lot of nature is there. We can find birds near the lake. Okay, M many sort of things you can see. And it's just uh, next to a fairy tale. A heavenly place, a heavenly abode. But not now. Now we are pressed for time. Now we are pressed for time means that they are very busy, that they have work. We cannot, uh, we cannot spend our time, leisure time, for on and on when our working hours are going on. Okay, right. But not now. Now we are pressed for time. Now we are here to consider facts. Now we must fix our eyes upon the procession. The procession of the sons of educated men. Okay, the procession means there must be a rally going on. There must be some protest. Something would be going on. It is not being totally displayed here. So we will get to know whenever we proceed. There they go, our brothers, who have been educated at public schools and universities, mounting those steps, passing in and out of those doors, ascending those pulpits, preaching, teaching, administering justice, practicing medicine, transacting business, making money. It is a solemn sight, always a procession, like a caravan sarai crossing a desert. Caravan sarai means a caravan. I hope you, everyone is uh, aware of the term caravan. Where the, I mean, it is a type of a cart where it goes from one place to another. Okay, like the barbarians. So here, Virginia Bull. See the word here. Okay. So here is a word which is to be, I mean, pointed out that the procession of the sons of the educated men. Just mind it. As I have told you in the summary before starting the passage, that in the letter, which was being written by an unnamed person, was regarding war in order to stop war. Okay. That was one agenda. And another agenda in this extract was, that the fund which the government or the uh, constitution have allotted for the men is very high in respect to that, the fund of the education for women. So here, Virginia Woolf is undergoing a sarcasm, a hypocrisy to the current scenario or to the current society that a procession of the sons and that of an educated man, not of women, not even they, she is not speaking about daughters, only the sons. That means she is doing an irony, hypocrisy, sarcasm in order to prick the conscience of the society that you are only looking for the men. You are an androcentric society. You are dominating. You are dominating the women. You are suppressing the uh, speech of the women. Somehow, you are not giving the same opportunity as the women should. I mean, they are, uh, uh, they always, they always need to. And they, uh, and the, in that case, the difference, the difference is that is very high with the men and the women. Nowadays, we, uh, uh, people used to say that men and women are working together, working together in the same place. 
to they are equal but our society never accepts that they make the women deprived of some of the rights could be uh, they always keep uh, the women deprived they does they never gives us the total opportunity okay and that case was also happened in london during that time because virginia wolf was the was herself the victim okay she was writing from her own experience because uh, our fellow friends our fellow friends who were male or who were men okay they had a greater opportunity to go into the universities but the women in of her era doesn't somehow she had achieved a good very good position because she was a very revol revolutionary woman okay she could voice her protest against all such of odds and such um i mean uh, what i say the odds of the society so that was the thing so here she is doing a hypocrisy by saying sons of educated men okay hello tripti how are you doing okay here they go our brothers so only she is telling about brothers not about sisters just see it see the term she is only telling about brothers who have been educated at public schools and universities mounting those steps mounting those steps means they are gradually going to higher and higher in case of degrees in case of education but the women and the girls are deprived of that opportunity and why it should happen it should not happen right and that's completely it's not done so she is she cannot she was voicing her protest like this because the other women the other girls were like a mute beast they were not allowed to speak out against the main against the androcentric society against the government or against as the senator but she had that guts she had that perseverance that she could oppose okay that's why that unnamed person or that unnamed man only knew that only this person that is virginia wolf who is a a phenomenal writer a phenomenal author could only voice a protest or could only write about this because we all know that pen is mightier than the sword war is never can be the solution war cannot be the solution but if we write something we can prick the conscience of the people of the common people of the society and if that only it will help the society to change do you all agree with me please comment in the comment box yeah yeah yes tarun tarun yes yes i have read the um, novel of sherlock holmes as it's just stupendous each and every if uh, whenever the show, novel of the sherlock holmes gets so uh, i mean ended i feel very frustrated why it has uh, ended i just want to continue on and on like the flow of a river it's so mysterious and so much intellectual what what do i say so your favorite author is uh, sherlock holmes i guess varun okay 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 so okay so practicing medicine so you see that practicing medicine means they are doing they are being doctor they are they are being doing the practice of medicine that means they are going to be a doctor a future doctor but there is no mention of any sisters or any girls so can you just imagine of the scenario that women are being deprived of the education and their rights and their rights to educate constitutional rights were violated can you think so in each and every line she was having a sense of hypocrisy she was pricking the conscience of the society that why we women are being deprived why the fund of the education of the men are much higher than that of the women because Uh, and that they think that we women are just nothing we are very petty things we are meager things 
okay but they doesn't realize that if we doesn't belong to in this society your existence will not be there you can only protagonize in the name of mother then so you can know that what is the power of mother or the what is the power of power of a female you can know then only you can understand the significance of women in the society and what sort of wrong they were doing by depriving us okay yeah yeah tarun i knew that everyone's favorite is sherlock holmes uh we all like detective uh stories and the way and the the way he, uh, he used to solve the cases is just phenomenal and impeccable no one can okay it is a solemn sight always a procession like a caravan side crossing a desert but now for the past 20 years or so it is no longer a sight merely a photograph or fresco scrawled upon the walls fresco means it is a type of laminated photograph scrawled upon the walls means it is being on the walls or it is being i mean decorated in the walls as a type of showpiece upon the walls of time at which we look with merely an aesthetic appreciation for their trapezing along the tail end of the procession we go ourselves so what did virginia wolf mean here that the tail of the procession means the end of the procession that whenever the end of the procession of the men is there when the procession of the man ends there so then the procession of the women starts there so what is that we are not equal so why are they always uh stating this type of thing that all men and women are equal and that too in this uh country of uh, british britain they are telling that all men and women are equal but when the procession of the men are ending the procession of the women are starting so is there any equality what do you think no we are at the extreme end we are being marginalized so it is not uh, right so here virginia wool became the epitome or the protagonist or the embodiment of the opposition in order to get all the rights of education and fight against the rights of the education of women okay so she had such omnipotent power with her writings with her editions so as I told you, pen is mightier than sword. Okay. We who look so long at the pageant in books or from a curtain window watched educated men leave the, leaving the house. So see what she is telling that during that time, Virginia Woolf used to look from his own home, from, his, from her own curtain, that men were going to to earn education to earn degrees and in the meantime the women were at, kept at home because what we will do what you will do after getting so much education after so much degrees you have to carry on with the household works because you are meant for that we are women we don't have the rights we must be we must keep always our faith wheeled we are we were not allowed to that time we were not allowed to go out i mean the women were not allowed to go out and education oh god that's far away you have just asked about the heaven okay so you just can only watch from your window from your own home that men are going for education and they are becoming doctors engineers professors and you are just have to uh, okay that was relevant at that time you might be knowing queen elizabeth queen elizabeth of buckingham palace she during that time she had uh, education in home home education she was not allowed to go to school and in a journal she had written that okay so why why such difference and you are telling that at the end of the day all men and women are equal so that is the thing so here you can see that each and every line virginia wolf is pricking is 
putting fingers on the society putting fingers on the odds of the society that what difference you are drawing you are making a, a bifurcation amongst the male and the female okay we, we who see here we who look so long at the pageant in books or from us so we have to read our book in our home we are not they were not allowed to go to school and university is very far away okay or from a curtained window watched educated men leaving the house at about 9:30 to go to an office returning to the house at about 6:30 from an office need look passive passively no longer we too could could we too can leave the house so she was wondering that she could also leave the house she could also study she could also go for the office okay were the same age of i mean the male or the men of um, of her age were going to colleges were going to universities were going for job okay she and such hope has also arrived for, for a there there is now nah, in each and every people there is some ambition some goals we are not um, i mean um, we are not born in order to only work work like um, laborers and to do uh, and become the uh, i mean always be in the kitchen it cannot be the solution okay can mount those steps so can mount those steps means that they are gradually rising up they are having a promotion day by day pass in and out of the doors make money administer justice make money means they are having job they are doing job okay <coughs> administer justice we who now agitate this humble pain may in another century or two speak from a pulpit so she is telling that now she is getting agitated she is getting irritated by this pain because she only have to read and write in her own home she cannot go out she cannot have lessons from the teachers okay and she is also hoping that some day maybe in some other century there would that pen that uh, i mean the edition or the book written by virginia woolf would be spoken out by some pulpit and there would be some person or some women who will be protesting against us against this odds of the women against the sufferings of the women okay but virginia woolf later on took a stand because she is a very rebellious person very rebellious woman that's why the all the rebellious women and every women who those who are self established used to praise virginia wool she fought for the rights of the women okay nobody will dare contradict us then we shall be the mouthpieces of divine spirit a solemn thought is is it not so she is telling that nowadays now i mean at uh, during that time no one will contradict no one will contradict but later on there will be some person or there will be some women who will contradict this that why so different why so much difference between a men and a women it is not done we should be treated as equals there should be equality okay who can say whether as time goes on we may not dress in military uniform so virginia wolf also has has this ambition in her heart that she, one day she would become military she also had this, uh, i mean there sure could be some hidden ambitions right or hidden aims that she wanted to be in the military camp right so she is telling that no one can tell that someone after some years or after a uh, in the next century there could be a possibility that the women are in the military are uh, will be in the military dress we means here you must be knowing that the women okay so before going to the next line i would like to tell you that the next session will be on math by ronak sir 
okay so please look into this video there will be uh, in our description box the link would be provided okay and before than that please like subscribe and share our channel and please do prepare for the sat examination very very well okay who can say whether as time goes on we may not dress in military uniform that there is also a possibility and that is true you can see that there are also women getting admission getting admitted to the military they are doing jobs and you might be knowing in the northeastern regions or uh, maybe in the sikkim or and also especially in bhutan nepal and uh, other northeastern regions that arunachal pradesh there are what i say the authority the authority or the power of the women are much than the men so you can see that the decades have changed a lot now we are not being so much deprived yeah we are deprived in the society that uh, we even if we are very much equal to men then also some people of in the society will always tell you that men and women are not equal cannot be equal right family coal scuttle on our heads says that the venerable object was never decorated with plumes of white hot hair okay so she as i told you that virginia woolf's essay are always with so many figures of speech that the eaten that the literal meaning is being covered with the hidden inner meaning or the metaphorical meaning okay so save that the venerable object venerable object means the object which is very much i mean prominent or very much i mean capable or eligible cannot be covered with anything you cannot cover the you cannot cover the glitter of the gold you can take the diamond but you cannot take the shine you cannot steal the shine of the diamond or the shine of the solitaire you cannot take you cannot steal the shine of the gold okay so that is the thing that the eligibility the capability and the most of all the our ambitions okay our talent you cannot take it you cannot cover it it will some day it will erupt and the every society will look upon it and they will be proud for us that means us means women i hope uh, tarun and other males uh, male members in this uh, live session is getting um, i hope they are not getting frustrated i hope you all are uh, i mean standing for us women empowerment so you are all voting for the women empowerment i hope and by the way i'm telling you i'm not underestimating the uh, the male or the man okay yeah yeah tarun kumar said that not at all okay you love indeed the shadow of a private house still makes those dresses look like a little queer we have worn private clothes so long but we have not come here to love or to talk of fashion men and women we are here on the bridge to ask ourselves certain questions are they are very important questions so virginia will say that that she was getting bored of wearing the private clothes means the civil clothes or the the clothes which uh, we used to wear in our houses because she never wore a uniform school uniform so she was speaking that when she was uh, during her teenage she was speaking this uh, scenarios are being i mean she was the victim of this scenarios or the circumstances okay she was telling about her own story okay and they are important questions and we have a very little time in which to answer them the questions that we asked uh, we have to ask and to answer about that procession during this moment of transition are so important that they may well change the lives of all women and women forever for we have to ask ourselves here and now do we wish to join that procession or don't we so she is telling that yeah maybe there is a high probability 
that this procession of men which is going on in front of our sight it will be helpful they will become doctor they will become some will become they will have i mean do uh, well, uh, our social welfare for the society okay and it will be at last will be helpful for not only for the men but for the women but virginia Woolf again makes another counter question that doesn't she or doesn't the women of her society deserves to get into that procession will not they are allowed to become as uh, educated educated for the society right so that is the thing on what terms shall we join that procession above all where is it leading us the procession of educated men the moment is short it may last five years ten years or perhaps only a matter of few months longer. But you will object. You have no time to think. You have your battles to fight, your rent to pay, your bazaars to organize. Okay, so she is telling that we are women and we all have to be dependent on men in, in somewhat. Okay. So as a result, we if we doesn't go into that procession or if we don't get educated we have to be dependent on other okay so you see this was so in each and every uh, word or in each and every line virginia wolf is sharing her pain okay so this is the thing as you know from uh, your own experience and there are facts that prove it the daughters of educated men have always done their thinking from hand to mouth not under green lamps at study tables in the cloisters of secluded colleges so she is telling um, i mean virginia wolf is telling that the daughters of the educated men have always done their thinking from hand to mouth okay so they have i mean they have practically Practically or mentally, they have thought about that. Okay. Okay. So, Tarun Kumar have tell, told me she, that she support Nari Shakti. Okay. That means women empowerment. Okay. They have, they have, rock, they have thought while they stirred the pot, while they rocked the cradle. Okay. So, cradle means, you might be knowing that cradle means where the baby used to sleep and they used to push right that means that the mother would be thinking that what she had achieved she hasn't achieved any education she hasn't done any job right so after all there uh, there is a problem so she would be thinking what the regret she is telling about the regret right in the gallery of the Houses of commons in the low courts. Let us think at baptisms and marriages and funerals. Let us never cease from thinking what is this civilization in which we find ourselves? What are these ceremonies and why should we take part in them? What are these professions and why should we make money out of them? Where in short it is, is it leading us? The procession of the sons of the educated men. So she is having a regret. She is questioning, putting finger in the eyes of the society that why we are deprived, why such distinction is being made. Okay. Why in the gallery of the House of the Commons, in the law courts, let us think at baptisms and marriages and funerals. Let us never cease from thinking. What is this civilization in which we found ourselves? Where is the, where is the civilization that we found ourselves inside the houses? Not with that procession. We are not in the colleges, not in the schools. Where are we? So where are we? Are, why are we so much deprived? Okay. Why are we not allowed to go to the Lord Mayor's shows? Okay. I hope everyone have understood this 
I mean passage. Now we will go to the question and answers. Okay. So let us go. So please, everyone, try to answer the answer with the proper options. Okay. The main purpose of the passage is to option A emphasize the value of a tradition. Option B stress the urgency of an issue. Option C highlight the severity of social divisions. And option D question the feasibility of an undertaking. Okay, so. Everyone, please try to comment in the comment box. What will be the option? What is the thing? What is the main purpose according to Virginia Woolf's uh, point of view, you think? Emphasize the value of a tradition. Stress the urgency of an issue. Highlight the severity of social divisions. The question or the feasibility of an undertaking. Very, very good, Karan Kumar. And the correct answer is option C. Yes, highlight the severity of social division between the male and the female. Okay, so that is the correct one, right? Okay, now we are going to the question number second question. What is okay, everyone? What is Tripti doing and other people? Okay, you all are not answering. Please try to answer. The central claim of the passage is that option A, educated women face a decision about how to engage with existing institutions. Option B, women can have positions or influence in English society only if they give up some of their traditional roles. Option C, the male monopoly on power in English society has had grave and continuing effects. And option D, the entry of the educated women into positions of the power traditionally held by men will transport the, transform those positions. What, what will be the correct answer? Okay. Tripti is saying, okay, Tripti, are you saying about this current question? You are giving the answer. Option B. Okay, Tarun Kumar is also saying. Very good. Women can have positions of influence in English society only if they give up of their traditional roles. Okay. So that is option B. Okay. Now coming to question number three. A next question. Wolf uses the word we throughout the passage mainly to option A. Reflect the growing friendliness among a group of people. Option B, advance the need of candor among a group of people. Option C, establish a sense of solidarity among a group of people. Or option D, reinforce the need for respect among a group of people. So what do you think, everyone? Quick, quick answer. Time is flying. Okay, before uh, commenting on the comment box, so before then that, I want to tell you, please do like subscribe our channel and please uh, please concentrate on your exam and please try to maintain your self-confidence in it during the examination don't get puzzled or don't get the question which you are not getting or you, which is very much tricky just leave it do it later wise but the thing which is the questions which are very easy you can continue with it okay Okay. Okay, Tarun is saying B and C both. Okay. Okay. So the current answer is the option C. Tarun will get surely. I think she is uh, getting. I I mean Arun will be getting. I mean full marks if uh, he sat in the SAT exam. Continuously, he is giving a right answer. So establish a sense of solidarity among a group of people. That's correct. Very good. Okay, according to the passage, Wolf chooses the setting of the bridge because it is conducive to a mood of fanciful reflection, provides a good view to the procession of the sons of educated men, Option C is within sight of historic episodes to which he alludes. 
or uh, is symbolic of the legacy of past and present sons of educated men so what is the correct answer why uh, does uh, virginia woolf uh, chooses the setting of the bridge Okay, answers please. Okay, please answers, answers please. Uh, hey, are you? Karun, bondo karun. Poor Baba. Sorry for the interruption. Extremely sorry for the interruption. Okay. 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 So please tell me. Okay. Tripti. Yeah. Tripti is correct. Option A. Yes. Fanciful reflection. Okay, now coming to the next question. Wolf indicates that the procession she describes in the passage has come to, uh, can anyone tell me? The next question, Wolf indicates that the procession she describes. Has become, okay, has come to more practical influence in recent years has become a celebrated feature of English public life, includes all of the richest and the most powerful men in England, has become less exclusionary in its membership in recent years. Okay, anyone? Tripti, what will be the answer? Okay, Tarun is saying option C. Okay. Yeah, very good. Okay. Tarun is gaining, I, I mean, very good. Going very good. Includes all the richest and the most powerful men in England. Exactly. Very good. Okay, and now coming to the next question. Which choice provides the best? Best evidence for the answer to the previous question. Lines 12 to 17. Okay. Yeah. Um, let us go to the previous question then. Indicates the procession she describes in the passage. Richest and the most powerful. So let us go to the passage first. So what are the options? Let us see. Lines 12 to 17, they are still money. Lines 17 to 19, it desert. 23 to 24, let us first go to 12 to 17. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so that there they go from our brothers who have been educated at public schools and universities mounting those steps, passing in and out of those doors, ascending this pulpit, preaching, teaching, administering justice, practicing medicine. So this is the first option, okay? This is the first option. And let us go to the second line. 17 to 19 from eat up till desert. Okay. 17 to 19. Yeah, 
it is a solemn sight always the procession that the procession of the man like a caravan sarai and crossing a desert so this is the our second option okay what is our third option what to ask us 23 to 24 For they are trapezing uh, along the tail of the end of the position. procession, we go ourselves, and that makes a difference. We would look so long at the pageant in the books. It is our third option. Option number C. Okay, uh, Tripti, Tarun, other, please try to uh, answer. Please try to answer. What will be the correct answer here? Okay, last but not the least, 30 to 34, option number D. Let us see. Nobody will dare to contradict us. We shall mouth this of divine and pulling thought, is it not? It is option number D. Okay, Tripti, others, please try to answer. It is the very last question. Please, please try to pep up. We are prepping up for the Greek gig, right? Okay, no one is answering. Okay, Tarun Kumar finally have given option B. So let us see. Yeah. Tarun, bingo, bingo, I must say. Just victory for you. And that's the correct answer, option B. That the procession was just like a caravan and it is tossing the desert. That is of the procession of the men. Very good. Okay, Tripti, you're welcome, my dear. Okay, I hope everyone have understood this session of Virginia Wool. Okay, and the next session will be of mathematics. Or you will be getting a full description in the description box along with the link. And please do like, subscribe and share our channel and uh, you will get a notification of my next english classes and you will let you know with yet another session and we will give some of the tips and the tricks which will be very much helpful for you during the start examination okay thank you each and everyone love you family thank you for being such an incredible and wonderful audience and so much supportive thank you thank you everyone have a nice day okay bye yeah, welcome. Welcome, Tarun. You will be getting, I think, your uh, Tarun will be getting clear for that for sure. And that one, so much. I mean, uh, that Virginia Wolf is so much tricky and a sort of complicated passage. And he could answer each and every one, and that too in a one go. That's incredible, impeccable, phenomenal. Okay, everyone, good night. Me signing off. See you. Bye. Take care.